Coach, the team was able to get a 5-0 victory over Providence at home this past weekend. Can you talk about the team's resilience and performance? Yeah, I thought we played uh, a great in that, in that game on Saturday. It's um, it's a tough game to play in because the bean pot is so exciting for the kids, and and uh, and you know you know they're looking forward to that game. So um, to make sure they stay in the moment and, and stay um, focused on on that Saturday game is always tough. But um, I thought our kids did a great job um, and really um, really played great. Um, all around, from you know our our, our uh, everyone on the bench, uh, and, you know played well and did a good job and and uh, and did the things we asked them to do and we've been asking them to do. So um, that's exciting for us going you know going forward. Haley Scrupa came back after a four game absence from injury, scored two goals. Can you talk about how important it was for her to start? Back that quick, and what it means for the offense. Yeah, I even mentioned to to Courtney Kennedy that it was it was nice to see her get on the uh, you know the score sheet right away uh, in that game. But yeah, you know I think for her it was it was nice to be back out on the ice and and nice for her to to uh, to get on the score sheet. You know that's one of the things that she's um, she's she's very dangerous when she's around that net and when she you know put pucks puts pucks to the net. So. Um, you know, we need her to produce offensively for, for our team to be successful. And she, um, she certainly was able to do that in that game, and we're excited to see her now back healthy and, and uh, you know, with, with, you know, game tonight. And, and we'll see how, how, uh, how she goes with, you know, two games in a couple of days. But I think she'll be, be, be great. Emily Field had a breakaway goal for her 100th career point. Can you just talk about her time here at the Heights and what she means to the team. Yeah, Emily. Uh, Emily is is one of those kids that I think often goes unnoticed, um, but she, um, you know, she has unbelievable speed um, and unbelievable work ethic. The kid, you know, just works hard all the time, um, and for her to get that that goal in the the way that she did uh, her hundredth point in the way that she did. I mean, it was an amazing play by her. Um, and, and you know she stick handled through two defensemen, and uh, and went in and, and and put the puck five hole on on the goalie. So it was a, a great play by her. Um, she's a great player. We're, I'm excited. She's only a junior, so we'll have her back for another year after this. Um, but she's um, you know she's a great person, a great player, and uh, really someone that we're we're happy to have here at BC. And we have the first round of the Beanpot tonight, Classic BC versus BU. Can you give us a little bit of a preview and how the team's able to prepare for a game after having uh, a game just on Saturday? Yeah, you know, I think they're excited for a quick turnaround and to be able to play a game, you know, now tonight. Um, they, uh, the Beanpot is a game that we, it's easy to get up for. You know, the kids are excited for it, especially BU, BC. Um, we watched the men last night, and, and I'm sure our kids did too, and um, you know they're going to be excited to to play in this game just as BU is. So um, you know it'll be a battle. We'll, we're going out knowing that it's going to be a battle. Um, you know, but our our kids are excited and and uh, you know we played well against BU the last time we played against them. So hopefully we can pick up uh, where we left off on Saturday and and uh, and keep you know keep our offensive production up uh, against this team. They have um, you know a, a good goalie and and uh, they have some some good players. So. Um, it should be a great a great game tonight. Thank you very much and good luck. Yep.